Hey there, I know it's been a while and now I'm back with a fairly short video this week. Please be patient with me. I promise I'm working on some additional footage so new videos should be out in more typical timing. I do hope that you enjoy what I have this time and again, more to come soon. All right, so I have the horizontal stabilizer and the elevators here mocked up, laid out, and what an incredible milestone. It's very cool to see these two pieces, three pieces really, um, all paired up. That was until I looked a little closer. And then I noticed that there seems to be a fitment problem and a pretty big one at that. Uh, my heart sank um, when I realized that the elevators weren't quite fitting uh, onto the horizontal stabilizer, at least in a method that would allow any sort of movement. Uh, and something appeared pretty wrong. Um, that was a couple days ago. My, again, my heart sank when I, when I saw this. Fortunately, I had a, a meeting filled with builders and some other key individuals where I was able to go and get some clarification. Let's take a look at that. An organization that every home builder should be a member of is the EAA, or Experimental Aircraft Association. My local chapter, Chapter 105, meets right where I did my flight training, just up the road from my house, and has a few members that often turn heads. Hint, the plane is named after him. It just so happened that at this meeting, they brought a certain prototype and treated us all to a presentation on the new machine. Ryan, Greg, Van, and others shared in detail what it took to put this thing together and why they made some of the decisions they did. It also meant that I got to show a picture of my conundrum to them and figure out what in the heck went wrong. It was quickly suggested that I review the plans, at which point I noted that I read the instructions several times from front to back and saw nothing regarding this area. It was again suggested that I put the instructions down for a moment and look at the frickin' plans. In short, there was no need for panic, and what I saw was simply the result of Van's aircraft reusing some tooling and creating parts versatility. In no time, I was off to modify the skins so that the sub-assemblies would fit together properly. I do want to note that even if your local EAA chapter doesn't have Van sitting to the left of you, it likely has a very experienced and intelligent individual taking his place. I highly recommend becoming involved in what the EAA has to offer. I need to make a little tool in order to fish some bolts down into the very tight spaces between the elevator and the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, so I'm gonna make that. That way I can get these bolts set in temporarily so that I can test the movement of the elevator and make sure that these notches I'm making are the correct size. I've got both the top notches cut. You may have seen that on this side, I had a um, different but equally as handy tool to temporarily fasten the elevator to the stabilizer. I wanna note, neither of these tools that I've made today were invented by me. They, they were invented by someone much smarter than myself. Um, I'm merely adapting what others have already come up with. But both are extremely handy when you're uh, at this stage of having to take on and off the elevators for test fitting. Again, both top notches are done. Now I have to flip the whole thing, do the other side, left and right bottom, and then uh, I should be able to see if I get full range of motion of these things.
there's the whole thing bolted together. Uh, the elevators are operational. That's pretty sweet. Um, and there's a lot of free movement. There's no binding, which is perfect. That's what we're looking for. Now, I had every intention to also clamp in and mock up the rudder and vertical stabilizer, but I feel like I'm pushing my luck and, and we're just, we're at risk of doing some damage to one of the pieces if I do that in this tight space without spending a lot of time um, to really set it up. So in order to be efficient with time, I'm not gonna do that. Um, we do get to see these two pieces in all their glory before I break them down and package them back up. All right, so where do we go from here? Uh, that's the question I've been asking myself for weeks. Uh, I was hoping that I'd have the wings to start in on. I was supposed to have the wings days, weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, there's been a delay advance. Now, I know they are doing everything they can to get people their kits in a timely manner, and I only have, well, it could be a few short weeks, it could be a few months to kill until my wings arrive. Until then, I do have some fiberglass work I can do, and I may get started on that. I also have a box of parts over here uh, for the fuselage. Now, I don't want to start the entirety of the fuselage before the wings. It is my goal and my plan to get the wings built before I start in on the fuselage. However, I may have to crack that box just a little bit in order to keep myself busy. Um, there's a chance that I try to sneak out the firewall and some related pieces just to keep moving. So, if you want to know what happens next in this build, stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll take a look at the next episode.